Welcome back. In the previous video, we learned how to navigate to different routes using the anchor tag. For the most part, it is pretty much all you need. However, at times, you might need to programmatically navigate to a particular route. For example, let's say you're placing an order on Amazon. If the form submission is successful, you would be navigated to the order confirmation page. The scenario can hold good for any type of form submission as well and is definitely needed in one or the other production applications. In this video, let's learn how to do that with SwelteKit. Now we don't have an e-commerce website or a form to submit. So let's assume that is the scenario and implement a button click handler from where we programmatically navigate to a different route in our application. For our example, on click of a place order button in the home page, let's navigate to the product list page. Back in VS Code, in the root route of our application, I'm going to add a button. Place order. Next, let's add a click handler. On click is equal to handle click. Next, let's define this handler. Script section, const handle click, console.log placing your order. Let's assume that the order was successfully placed. So after the log statement, the user should be navigated to the products page. To programmatically navigate with SwelteKit, we rely on another module, and that is the navigation module. At the top, but still within the script section, import go to function from dollar app slash navigation. Within handle click, after the log statement, call go to passing in slash products as the path. If we now head back to the browser and click on the place order button, we are navigated to slash products route. This is pretty much how you can programmatically navigate in a SwelteKit application. At the moment, we are passing in slash products as the argument, but any of the values we have passed to the href attribute so far are all valid. So we can navigate to nested routes, dynamic routes, and even catch all routes. What I want you to also observe is the behavior when I click the browser back button. We are brought back to the home page. If you want to replace the history instead of pushing the route onto the stack, you can add a second argument, which is an object. We set replace state to true. Now, if I refresh the home page, click on the place order button, and click on the back button, we are brought to slash products slash 100, which was the route we visited last in the previous video. So the replace state property will replace the current history state instead of adding a new URL to the stack. Finally, I want to highlight two important functions exported by this navigation module. Before navigate, and after navigate. In the script block, I'm going to call both the functions. The two functions accept a callback function as argument. Each function automatically receives a navigation parameter. I'm going to log the parameter to the console. This would be before, and this would be after. Let's now head to the browser and see what this navigation parameter contains. Navigate to products, and we see the log statement from the before navigate function. We have properties such as from, to, and type of navigation. The key value pairs should be self-explanatory given the fact we navigated from the home page 
to the products page. Now cancel is a function which you can call to cancel the navigation if necessary. Let's now click on the back button. We are brought back to slash product slash 100. Let's make sure we get rid of the replace state property. Let's retry this one more time. Place order. We have before navigation details. Click on the back button and we see the after navigation details. It has from to and type is pop state, which is pretty much what the back button does. We don't have the cancel function though, as we can't cancel a navigation after the process has completed. These two functions come in handy when you want to show or hide a loading spinner while navigation is in progress. But that is about the navigation module from SwellKit, which helps navigate programmatically. Thank you for watching. Please do consider subscribing to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.